Everybody believes in each other, each other, wide receivers and quarterbacks, and it's good to be on the same page with him. And uh, we're just going to continue to take it day by day and just get better, focus on one day at a time. It seems like you, Dalton, and a lot of these guys, are you guys are all making like really impressive catches, not just these wide open ones, a yeah. pretty talented catch. How do you feel like you guys have, have upped your game a little bit on that this year? Yeah, I would say so. I think it's just you know a matter of confidence. I think we believe we can make the plays, and when you're confident, when you're prepared, and you're out there, you know the plays just kind of come with it. The more you work, the plays they just come with it. Can you take me through what you saw on that catch that you did have, like kind of halfway one handed grab? <laughs> yeah, so uh, I had press man out there, and I knew Skyler was going to come to me on that scheme, and um, yeah, it was one of those things when the ball was in the air. I was never nervous, never second guess anything. I just kind of knew that hey, I'm going to make this play, and it was no surprise to me when it happened. Um, it, was just, it was just weird. It was one of those calm, confident moments when you just knew, all right, I'm going to do this. Has Dalton Schoen been a guy who's helped with your development here or worked with you in your time at K-State? Um, yeah, for sure. I've grown really close to Dalton, especially over this last year. And uh, we have a very similar story, both coming from the same area. Mm -hmm. Our high schools are in the same league. We both walked on. So he's had a great career, and he's been a great model to try and build my career after. How do you feel like guys have moved on from the, the West Virginia game? Is it a similar feeling to after Texas or not? Um, this one hurt a little bit, I'm not going to lie. The Texas one was a really close game and, you know, a tough road game to win. And we fought and lost on a last-second field goal. But I think it was an encouraging loss. Um, obviously, it hurt, but it was encouraging that, hey, we're close. We're almost there. And I think we felt like we let this one go. And this one definitely hurt me a little more. But at the end of the day, you just got to – put it in the past, come back to work, and now we're just focused on Texas Tech. You guys have had a lot of first quarter success moving them all in the last mm -hmm. two games. Just haven't been able to, able to sustain it. What's the key to doing that for a full game? Just got to continue to execute, continue to execute better, keep it up. Um, I don't know, fatigue or anything. I don't think we're getting tired or anything. It's just a matter of we just got to continue to execute in the same way. Leadership is 